put your opinion out there, but if you can just share it with me, man. Have okay. you seen it again? And I did see it. I did see it What did you again. make after seeing it again? It was a great fight, man. It was a great fight. And uh, before the fight, you know, I, I knew it was going to be a hell of a fight because they're both hungry to to prove that they're the best in the world. Canelo's young. Triple G is already the veteran who, who everybody fears. And... Uh, Canelo came in with no fear. He came in yeah. to fight and uh, gave us a great fight. There, uh, there at the moment when the fight happened, uh, I thought the draw was good and I, I, uh, I felt happy for the draw. That way they'll give a, get a rematch. Though they'll do another great pay-per-view numbers. They'll do another great uh, gate entrance. So it'll be it'll be a great a, another great fight. But watching it again uh, on TV. Uh, I seen somebody winning. I don't want to say who. Why but not, Robert? No, I, I can't. You, I you can't. get a lot of heat for for maybe being a little, a little critical of Canelo. No, what do you think I, that is, I thought Canelo was going to win. I, yeah. I I thought Canelo could win. I'm not. I knew it was going to be easy because Triple G hits tremendously hard and uh, and and has all the uh, has has the power. Has been knocking everybody out. Canelo's the young guy. You know, the one that we felt shouldn't have. He let go of the of the belt. You know, he got criticized by not only me but everybody else. But going into the fight, I thought he had everything to win. I thought he could win. I'll tell you one thing. I think in a rematch, I think Canelo clearly wins. Yeah. Maybe even stops Triple G. Wow. I think. Yeah. Since, no, she said, since she said that, a lot of people have said after the fight that he that Triple G looks a little shocked more that he's showing his age. After you rewatch it the second time, do you agree with that opinion? I, I totally agree. And uh, Canelo's younger, and Canelo went into the fight knowing that he was in there against the monster, the the guy that's knocking everybody out. So. So when I seen the fight again uh, this last weekend, Canelo, there were those moments where he where he could have done a little more, but he he didn't take the chance because because obviously because of the power, the, you know the power that everybody was talking about. So he fought a little a little too careful. I think in the rematch he already, he already felt the power. He already, he already felt that he didn't hurt him. So I think in the rematch he's gonna take a little more chances. And when he did take those chances in the fight, he was very successful. I think he landed beautiful punches. He landed beautiful combinations. So I think in the rematch Canelo, Canelo, Canelo clearly wins. Maybe even stops Triple G. Is he getting enough credit for his defense, or do you think the fans are kind of overlooking that, saying it's not Mexican style? He was running. I, I think his defense was was beautiful, man. Look at look at all those right hands that he made that he made Triple G miss and. And even those, those 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 few times that Triple G landed the right hand, Canelo Canelo was trained to to Steer to, a, to exactly Steer to avoid to avoid that solid you know Triple G knocks everybody if you're coming to him and he catches you coming in or or he makes you miss and you know he catches you he knocks guys out cold. But Canelo always fought that very defensive way of rolling the punch. So, so even those right hands that landed weren't one hundred percent because he was able to roll, and that that was that was the main thing. And he did. I think his defense was great. But great. Would you agree that Canelo, the younger man, tires out or fades out towards the end? Look, I, I, I don't know the way they train. I'm sure he ran really good because it's a huge fight. But. Uh, I, you know, I could give you my opinion as a trainer, and what what me as a trainer, what I think could have been the reason why he he tires out in the late rounds, and and I don't I don't I'm not saying that's that's what happened to Manelo, but in my in my uh, opinion, if I have a fighter that uh, that is going to fight a 12 round fight against a solid tough tough opponent, he needs to train tough, which I'm sure he did, but the main thing I think he needs to Spar tough too. I think you need to have them spar with sparring partners that are trying to beat the heck out of you to get you in shape and to get you alert and 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 in condition to be able to do that in the fight. You know, every time my one of my fighters is getting ready, I prepare them with sparring partners that are trying to to kick their ass. I'm not. I don't tell my sparring partners work easy. Don't go to the body. And I'm not saying that's the case with Canelo, but as a trainer, I'm thinking that might be a a, a case with Canelo. He's he's a big name. He's a superstar. He's he's uh, his trainers, his manager team. He's their their only guy that they have. So the cash so they want him to be happy. They want him. They want to you know they want to treat him nice. They they don't want him you know I because I've seen it before. 
I've seen it with, you know, I used to train with Oscar De La Hoya. Mm -hmm. When I was, when we were growing up, we, we trained together, we did too many training camps together. And I remember sparring partners were told to take it easy. Don't do this, don't do that. And Oscar. And Oscar, because Oscar's the golden boy. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, whoever was training him at that time, they didn't want to didn't want to get Oscar hurt or didn't want to get Oscar to look bad. I remember, I was there. Yeah. I was there. So you know what I mean? So I'm not saying that's the case with, with Canelo. Yeah. But in my opinion, is that it's possible that's that's possible they need to spar hard you know he needs to spar hard because in order to be able to get in there against a to be able to beat a triple g you got to go through that in training you know all my fighters go through that mike mikey against burner mikey was sparring 154 pounders 160 pounders that would you guys could could find out who those guys were and i never told the guys take it easy or don't do this. I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to get those guys to beat the heck out of my kid. You know, with Abner Mati, same thing. All the kids that I have sparring, sparring Abner, I tell them, you know, you go out there and kick his ass. Because that's what I need. That's what I need for my guys to be in shape. Robert, if you could pick someone, if you could pick